Hi, good morning, Albert. Um, we're going to take a minute to preview the website that we've been building for you. Um, the website is basically been built around the logo that you just had designed um, using the purples and the greens. Um, so let's get into it. I know one of the main things you wanted was for the call to action for getting a free estimate um, right in front of your face when people first landed on it. So what we've done is we've created a hero image um, with that call to action right on top of it. The hero image is one of the images that you provided us of one of the floors that you've done. Um, as you scroll down, we talk about the different types of services that you offer and each service actually links out to a page about that service. And here are some more pictures you provided us along with the text that you gave us. And then we added some testimonials. Um, ultimately, as you get more testimonials, I see these either being some sort of a slider that kind of switches out or we switch the testimonials out on a regular basis to keep them fresh. Um, we may also go back and even um, create a link to the actual testimonial on whatever um, platform it's on. So if it's a Google testimonial, we'll send a uh, link back to Google, Facebook, send it back to Facebook and so on. And then in the footer, we have um, all of the different areas that you service, which gets your keywords for those areas on the page. It'll get those same keywords across all of the pages as well, because it's a universal footer that shows up on each and every page. I know that you said you were probably going to be refining this some, and that's fine. That's something we can do um, as we move forward. And then we have your link out to your social media accounts at the bottom. Uh, the trend in 2019 is actually keeping the social media links more towards the bottom as opposed to being at the top. I know in the past, a lot of times people would put their social media links at the top, but what you're doing then is you're essentially driving traffic away from your website over to your social media. And you kind of want to do it the opposite way around. Your goal is to get people to come from social media to your website. Um, if you're driving traffic to your social media site, let's say you drive somebody over to your Facebook page, then all of a sudden people, aren't thinking about your services anymore. They're over there looking at, you know, pictures that their friends have uploaded and things like that. So kind of, it kind of does a mind shift on them when they go over to, let's say, Facebook right away after being on your site. So would you rather them look at your site first? And if they have a desire to go to um, social media, they can always find the link in the bottom that, so that they can go to it. But really, we want to keep people on your pay, on your site and kind of scrolling around your site to see the different things that you do. Um, we created the About Us page that you requested um, with the image that you wanted. So we've got your text in your image and we also added a call to action so that people um, can contact you for a free estimate. This takes you to the Contact Us page which includes your um, free estimate form on it. So send us an email or request a free estimate or call us today. So it's right there on the form. This is an email form. So what happens is when people fill out this form, you get an automatic email um, with their answers and then you can follow up in the sales process to, to move them along. Um, we also have included a button up here for a free estimate. That way the free estimate is always at the top of any page, no matter what page they're on. So when people click on it, it drops down and it has your free estimate form there. So we have that call to action then on every single page and it's kind of called out a little bit um, with the green button on top of the purple um, stripe in the menu area. And I'm sure you noticed as we were scrolling that when you hit services, we have a nice little drop down that has each of your individual services and this takes people to the actual page of the service. So for instance, if we click on the decorative concrete flooring, we go into your concrete flooring page and all of your services pages kind of cover the same sort of layout where we've got, you know, your basic information with a one of your good pictures and this could always be swapped out with different ones as you want to highlight different work. However, in the bottom, each of them also contains a gallery. So this is where you're going to be able to upload gallery pictures from the different jobs that you do 
um, so that people can see the different type of work that you do. And we've made this real easy in the back end so that you can actually go in and upload your own pictures um, and add them to the gallery quite simply. It, it won't be a major problem at all. But as people click on them, they can click through the gallery this way or they can just look at it on page. And of course, every page, again, has that call to action to contact you for a free estimate. So that's the Concrete Flooring Gallery page. Um, let's go to Concrete Resurfacing, because we did some before afters on this one, I believe. So you had sent us some before after pictures. So this did involve a little bit of Photoshop work on our part, because we took your before after pictures and we kind of composited them together so that people can see a before and an after job. Um, so if you have Photoshop and you're able to do that on your own, that's fine. Um, but we did do this relatively quickly in Photoshop for you here. Same thing here before and after. And then for your final service, which is your decorative landscape curbing. Again, same format. And then we have the gallery at the bottom. Now we also have the um, nice document that you created about the curbing process that's styled a little bit differently. So if we click on learn about our curbing process, this kind of takes people through a step-by-step -step of what's involved in doing the landscape curbing. And this is the processes that you had written out so nicely and sent over to us. We just kind of broke it down into readable chunks going through the different steps. And then when they click view samples of our work, it takes them back to your concrete curbing page. So that is just a brief overview of the way we uh, created your site. You may be wondering about the curves here. This is because we're kind of trying to follow the style of the logo that you provided. So we've got kind of this curve going on here and we've got the curves going on here. So everything ties back together. So hopefully enjoy, look over it, make any corrections, and we look forward to getting you launched soon. Have a great day.